Hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Honor to you. <laughs> I'm sitting here <laughs> in my house at this chair. And uh, Lydia is just... Long life to you. She is just, just enamored with us. Just what can I do for you, my Thane? Honor to you, my Thane. My Thane, my Thane, my Thane. Long life, Long to, life you, Thane. to you, Thane. Okay, I get it. You're in love with me. Gosh. Okay. She wants to be... Honor to you, my Thane. Th Mrs. Thane. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, I, you, know, you see we're here in the house. Uh, I don't think I ended the last episode in here. I don't remember, but I've spent some time uh, managing my inventory. Uh, I put some more books over here that we've already read uh, to empty my inventory out. I put some food in this, uh, uh, this cupboard right here just for the heck of it. Uh, upstairs here, uh, <laughs> uh, it is, this is Lydia's room, by the way. I've seen her sleep in this bed. I didn't even notice this room here. Uh, Lydia's in charge of keeping track of like my ingots and leather strips and stuff like that. She's in charge of keeping track of stuff that I use for smithing. And um, let's see, did I put anything in here? Uh, no, there is a book in there though that I haven't read yet. And then in here, uh, just for fun, uh, I put a bounty here. Uh, this is one of the bounties that we've already uh, completed. This is the one from... Crap. I don't know. Anyway, it was a bounty we completed. And then here is a, uh, a tattered journal here that um, I don't remember where I got this from. And I don't know if it's important that I keep it, but uh, I just set it there on the table, you know, just for the heck of it. This dresser contains nothing interesting. Stuff I should probably take out and sell at some point, but we'll get to that later. And then there's nothing in this chest here. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Um, but uh, getting rid of all that stuff. Oh, 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 and then another thing that I did, I actually went back to uh, Arcadia's Cauldron and went back to the alchemy table and uh, did all kinds of of stuff with the ingredients that I had. You can see I don't have very many left right now, but I have found out all four uh, effects of Blue Mountain Flower, uh, two of the effects for human flesh, all four for lavender, all four of mud crab chitin. I still only know one of Nern Root, uh, three of four of Purple Mountain Flower, all of them for Red Mountain Flower, two for Skeever Tail, all four for Thistle Branch, two for Tundra Cotton, and all four for White Cap. So, uh, I spent quite a bit of time just starting at the top, combining, 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 trying to find these things. Uh, I made a bunch of potions uh, that I would like to sell. A lot of these potions, I really don't need to be hanging on to this many potions. I mean, am I ever going to use Poison of Damage Magicka Regen? I don't know. I mean, really, decreases the target's Magicka Regeneration by 100% for 22 seconds. One-handed weapons do 18% more damage for 60 seconds. Health is increased by 18 points for 60 seconds. I mean, I don't see myself ever using that, so I'll probably sell that. Uh, this uh, draft of strength, I, I can see myself using. Potion of Brief Invisibility, maybe, I don't know. Potion of Strength, maybe, I don't know. Regenerate Health, yeah, sure. Uh, except that this also damages Magicka, so I don't know if I want to use it. But anyway, I've got a ton of potions here. I want to sell those off, but you can see, I, just doing what I've already done, I've got my weight down by quite a bit, so that's kind of nice. So um, That is what I did off camera. And uh, interesting, looks like there's like holes in the, the slats there. Yeah. Uh, so what do I want to do uh, first in this episode? Let us go I up. Am your sword and your shield. Yeah, you are. Let's let's go up to um, Dragon's Reach. Go to Ferengar's room and use the Arcane Enchanter. Um, I forgot to check to see if there was another Enchanter here in this town. There may be one closer to me that I don't have to run up to. And, and I don't know, I, I think I asked the question in the last episode. You may have already responded to that, but um, I haven't seen... Uh, I haven't even posted that episode yet, so I haven't seen your responses yet. So anyway, um, as of right now, this is the only arcane enchanter I know of, so we run all the way up here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, a little bit of disenchanting um, because I'm going to switch out what weapon I carry with me for a while. I've been using this Axe of White Run, which is pretty awesome, but I've picked up something that I think is going to work out a little bit better for me, and uh, that thing is 
this uh, iron great sword of burning. Uh, so this thing does 25 damage, whereas this thing does, where is it? This thing does 30. So it does, the axe I'm using does more base damage, and it also does 10 points of magic damage. But this thing here burns the target for 10 points, and then targets on fire take extra damage. So I think overall this will probably be a better weapon to use. So I'm going to see if I can disenchant the axe of White Run. So to the Arcane Enchanter... Uh, Axe of White Run. I'm going to disenchant it. Yes. Okay. We learned the Magicka Damage Enchantment from destroying this item. I'm also going to um, destroy the Circlet of Magicka here. Um, why am I going to destroy this? What am I wearing? Let me see what I'm wearing here. What, what do I have on my head? On my head, I'm wearing the steel-horned helmet. Okay. I, yeah, I decided to do that because I wanted the armor. So let's go ahead and uh, disenchant the Circlet of Magicka. So now we've learned the Fortify Magicka enchantment from it. And then it's also been suggested that I disenchant these Hide Boots of Minor Stamina and apply it to something else. So we're going to do that as well. And then I'm going to keep these two. Uh, I'm going to use this Iron Great Sword of Burning as my main weapon. And then I'm going to keep this Sanctified Steel Sword uh, for like when I fight undead. Uh, that was a neat suggestion that I got in the comments. So we'll see how that works out. Now, what I'd like to do now is enchant my current helmet with um, Magicka. Fortify Magicka, right? But I need a soul gem for that. And apparently I don't have any uh, soul gems. So I need I need soul gems. And I'm hoping that I could buy some from somebody. Maybe uh, this dude here, maybe. Do you sell soul gems, dude? Do dragons reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities? Like the... Mm -hmm. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Soul gems. So these are filled. Some of these are. I mean, a, a petty soul gem would be enough, wouldn't it? Would that be enough for me to do? See, I don't know what, what gem I want uh, to do this. I mean, I don't want to buy too big of a gem. Especially not if they cost that much. So I think a petty soul gem will be enough. Let's try it. Let's buy one of these. I bought a petty soul gem. Let's you see if that's enough. The aptitude. You should join the Mage's College in Winter. So we're going to go to the Enchanter. Uh, I'm going to go to my Helmet. I'm going to enchant it with Fortify Magicka. And then I'm going to use a Petty Soul Gem. And here we go. Craft. Yes. Okay. My enchanting is increased. And now, uh, the cool thing is that my steel horned helmet increases my magicka by a whole two points really two points seems like i remember the uh circlet increasing it by a lot more than that but hey what do i know um and then i also had disenchanted my boots uh and i don't have boots right now so i need to get more boots and um well put them on and uh, then enchant them. So that's what I need to do, but I don't have any boots to enchant right now. So I need to do that. Um, and then, now, uh, if we look in my perks... Uh, by the way, uh, off camera I, I leveled up my uh, stamina. Um, it's at 130 now because I don't have those boots on, but I had gotten it up to 150. So, destruction I'm going to go into, whoops, destruction, and I'm going to go to apprentice destruction, and I'm going to spend one of my perks on apprentice destruction, it'll allow me to cast apprentice level destruction spells for half magicka. So let's get this. Okay, so we've got that, and the reason I wanted to get that was because I want to buy some spells from Ferengar here. Wake up again, dude. It seems this damnable conf... Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. 
Ooh, appreciate what? Oh, I thought he was going to give me something. Uh, I want to learn some spells from this guy. I want to learn um, Firebolt. I want to learn Lightning Bolt and Ice Spike. Okay, there we go. So I bought those from him. Go back to sleep, dude. It's all good. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. Oh, thank you. That's very encouraging. That's, that's, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Uh, okay, so now if I go in here and I look at my books, I've got these tomes. I'm going to learn Firebolt. I'm going to learn Ice Spike. And I'm going to learn Lightning Bolt. Now that's pretty exciting, don't you think? I think it is. Now, here's a question for you guys. Is there any reason for me to have uh, these old spells here anymore? Isn't like Firebolt the next thing up from Flames here? Just like Lightning Bolt is up from Sparks? Is there any reason for me to keep these old spells um, favorited? Is there any reason for me to ever cast them again? I'll leave that to you guys to uh, answer. So, for the time being... We're going to go in here and, um, no, I need to go to magic, don't I? Magic. I'm going to unfavorite sparks. I'm going to unfavorite flames. Instead, I'm going to favorite. Well, it sure does cost a lot more, but it does a lot more damage too. Uh, I'm going to favorite firebolt and I'm going to favorite ice spike and I'm going to favorite sparks. And then we'll go back into my favorites menu here. Firebolt will go in slot one. No. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to do something else too. Uh, I need to go into inventory. I need to go to weapons. I'm going to put this as a favorite. Okay, this is a weird interface. Go in here. Okay, so my Iron Great Sword of Burning is slot one. Firebolt, slot two. Sparks are slot three. Uh, we'll put Ice Spike in slot four. Battle Cry, I have not figured out how to use. That, that just made no sense to me um, when I tried to use it. So I don't understand that. Clairvoyance, I don't, I don't even know why I have that favorited. I don't really plan on using it in that way. So magic, unfavorite clairvoyance. That, that'll that help me at some point, but just not right now. Okay, so I did those things. Um, yeah, I need some uh, boots. Uh, gosh, I hate the idea of buying, spending money on boots. Look, I am actually barefoot. Um, because, you know, you find boots out in the wild but, um, yeah, I, I'm good. I need to buy him before I head back out for my next adventure. We're going to wake him up again. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss spells and incantations. What can I sell to him? Can I, I can't sell him potions. I can sell him books, gems, armor. Yeah. So... Hmm, interesting. All right, here's 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 a little test. Here here's a test. So the copper and onyx circlet right here. I could sell this to him for nineteen, right? But if instead I buy a soul gem from darn it, I'll I put it simply. Sorry. So you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in Yeah yeah yeah. Man. I get it. Okay. I I'm sorry. There's I, a tranquil. Okay. All right. In magic. Don't okay. You it's uh, simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge oh, to control. Okay. Yes? Okay. Sorry. What do you need? I clicked on the wrong thing. What have you got for sale? Spells and incantations uh -huh. yeah, for yeah, those yeah. with the talent to cast them. Um, I'm going to buy another petty soul gem filled with a petty soul. Okay. So that cost me 106. Let's keep track of this. The Petty Soul Gem cost me 106. Um, if I sell him this copper and onyx circlet right now, I'll get 19, right? 
So what happens if I enchant this and then sell it to him? Is it is it you know, worth it? You know what I'm saying? Does this make sense what I'm saying here? We're going to go here to the enchanter. I'm going to choose the copper and onyx circlet. I'm going to enchant it with something. Hmm. Boy, they sure aren't worth a whole lot, are they? I'm thinking that I just wasted some money. Yeah, this is only worth 118. So this is definitely not worth it because I spent 106 on this petty soul gem. And I would have gotten 19 from him anyway. Now I'm only getting 118, so I'm actually losing money if I do this. So, huh. Um, yeah. So that's kind of a waste. Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess I won't use my soul to do that. It's not worth it. If I'm missing out on something, by all means, let me know. You know, I don't have to put that Magicka thing on my uh, feet. Like my steel armor. I could put <coughs> Fortify Stamina on it. It only increases my stamina by two points, though. I could have swore that I had this thing increases my stamina by like 10 points or something when it was on those boots. So what's the deal with, why is it only two points? Am I remembering wrong? <sighs> I mean, two points? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I thought I could have swore that those boots I had increased my stamina by 10 points. I don't know. Let me know, man. Because I, I could have swore it did. What the hell am I doing? Oh, I go here. Skills. Um, I could have swore I was at 150 here. I thought I was. So... Yeah, I... I don't know, man. If I fortify my armor with that gem, it'll only get me to 132. That just doesn't seem worth it. Huh. I don't know. You guys help me out with that. I'm sure you will. Okay. Um, what else am I going to do? What else did I want to do? Well, um, let's see here. Uh, well, I, I want to sell some more things. That's for sure. Like, uh, let's go ahead and sell this stuff to him. I guess. Poor guy. He can't Come even sleep with me around. To discuss... So, you wish to master the arcane arts? So... I could sell him like this thing, this, there, I made a little bit of money there, not a whole lot, but some, and no, the aptitude, you should join the then I'm going to go back to Arcadia's Cauldron and sell her some potions, because I've got a ton of potions, so let's go back there and sell those. Sun's coming up. <laughs> Do you hear my bare feet? <laughs> I can just barely hear them. Why can't I run and jump? Seems like I can't a lot of the time. Oh, what? Huh? Whoa. Okay, it's locked. Oopsies, I guess uh, it's still pretty early in the morning, 6.04 a.m. I guess they're not open yet. Doggone it. Now I have to wait for her to open. Sigh. Wait how long? What, she open at 8? I'm just going to stand here for two hours. Okay. Let's see if she's open now. Let me know if you see anything you like. Okay, I'm going to sell you some stuff if you don't mind. Rather pale. Could be a taxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Yeah, well, so we're not in you're Cyrodiil. Interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah, I'm interested in selling them to you. Okay, so potions, value. Uh, I'm going to sell her this. Uh, I'm going to sell her this because I don't want my magicka to be damaged. 
Uh, 40 points, that could be useful. Hmm. Potion of Fortify Two-Handed. Two-handed weapons do 17% more damage for 60 seconds. Ooh, and resist 13% of, okay, that's kind of good. Poison, just plain old poison. Potion of the Berserker. Potion of True, true Shot for bows. Weak, friendly poison. C creatures and people up to level five will attack anything nearby. Potion of Fortify One Hit, I don't care about that. Uh, Potion of Fortify Sneak. That might be useful at some point. Resist Poison. Cure Disease, I got a lot of those. Uh, draft of the Defender. Blocking, absorbs, I never block, get rid of that. Fortify Conjuration. Um, I don't know, maybe. It's just magic. Uh, these aren't worth a whole lot, but I just kind of want to get rid of them to um, free up some weight, right? So resist fire, resist frosts, weakness to poison. I'm going to get rid of that. Con a conjuration, Fortify Magicka. Stamina, Potion of Magicka. Look at all this stuff. So I'm looking for potions that have a, a good and a bad effect. And just get rid of those. Potion of Restore Magicka. Restores 22 points of Magicka. And then it also does some bad stuff, so we'll get rid of that. Damage, Magicka, Frostbite, Venom. Minor Magicka. Um, Ravage, Stamina? Alright, Minor Healing. So I got all these potions down here. Restore Health, Cure Disease. Well, how's this Cure Disease different than... The ones I have up above, I thought I had some other cure diseases up here. Yeah, potion of cure disease here cures all diseases. This potion of cure disease cures all diseases. So why are these different? I ask you. Potion of cure disease. Look at that. For some reason, these are worth a lot more than this one. Why is that? I mean, the only I see mag. Not sure what that is. Twenty-two versus a hundred. The hell's mag? I don't know what that means, uh, but I am carrying a lot of potions, um, so I really don't know which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of. What the heck is mag? I don't know what that is. Magnitude. What is magnitude? What does that mean? Magnitude? Beats me, man. I don't know. Anyway. I'm tired of dealing with this stuff. You need a remedy. Ooh, um... Oh, gosh. Uh, so I want to be able to capture souls myself. Um... And I think... I remedies for how can I tell... What... Um, enchantments I know. Okay, where is that? Hmm. It's both common and rare. I have, um... Crap, where is that trap souls I thought I had somewhere? Where did I see that? I don't remember, man. I thought I had... Trap souls somewhere. Doggone it, I don't Do remember it. Know if I can be oh service. well. Let's get out of here. So, I believe that there are still a couple of places that I haven't explored here in Whiterun. Um, the Whiterun crypts I have not explored. I don't know where those are or how to get to them. But, um, hey, Lydia. I am your sword and your shield. Follow me, I need your help. Lead the way. Okay, so she's gonna come with us here. Uh, where... Where are these crypts? Look at my map. Look at the local map. Um... What's all this? Is this stuff outside? What is all this business over here? Oh, oh, <laughs> this is the background. <laughs> Okay, Yorvisker.
Let's see. Just taking a quick look here. Hmm. Well, I don't... There's a dark area here that I haven't been to yet. Can't mark anything here. So I guess I'm going to try to walk here. Oh, that's right, I'm still barefoot. Um, actually, now that I think about it... Um, maybe I want to get my ingots and stuff and craft my own footwear? Can I do that? Pardon me. Papa. That's me. So we're going to search the dresser here. Actually, I'm going to take all of it. Look at little kid. We're going to go over here to the smither. And, um... Staying out of trouble, kinsman? Mm-hmm. What's she carrying? She's got a mace. There's someone who can get... Got some good no, pieces no, out no. here if you're looking to buy. Oh, man. More inside. She's using the forge. Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the forge. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can I make? Armor? Huh. I don't have steel down here. I can't make... I can make iron boots. But I can't make steel boots. Um, is it because I don't have high enough smithing skill? Let's take a look. Smithing. Steel smithing can create steel armor and weapons at forges. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Got that perk. Okay, and I think that's all I could do with smithing. I don't see any other things in here I could do. These um, kind of purple stars mean I, I don't have the level high enough to do it, whereas these white stars I do. Okay, so now I should be able to craft steel stuff. Steel armor. Okay, I can, except... Let's see here, what do I need? Steel shin boots. I need three steel ingots. Huh, okay, how do I make a steel ingot, he asks. Steel ingot, I need... Where is it? I don't see, I don't see steel ingots anywhere around here. Where are they? Oh, I don't make steel ingots here, right? Or do I? I make steel ingots here at the smelter? Steel ingots. Oh gosh, I need corundum ore and iron ore for this. Crap, man. Uh, so it's looking like I'm going to just simply have to make me some iron boots for now. Because I don't want to walk around barefoot. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to create some iron boots because that is all I can create right now. So iron boots. Yes. Okay, I created myself some iron boots. We're going to put them on because we look ridiculous without our boots on. Uh, armor. Um, iron boots. Okay. Then. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking. Uh, hmm. Blades. Yeah, helmets, yeah, yeah. Then I'm just going to sell her some crap needs. real quick. Um, oh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's interesting. She she's not interested in buying this crap that I've got. Really? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need. Yeah, I've got these boots and this ragged cap. I just want to sell her sell to her to get rid of. Um, can I sell it to this guy in here? Well, we've got small weapons as well as big. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Sell. Well, I'll be damned, I can't sell it to him either. That's weird. Who do I sell that crap to, then? Alright, well, that's one of the reasons I picked Good it up, was to sell it to him. Oh, alright. Uh, so, I don't claim to be the best yeah, yeah. So here at the grindstone, I can take... I can't do anything. Oh, this is for weapons, okay. 
So I can't do anything to any of my weapons because they're all magic. And at the workbench over here, this is where I could upgrade these, but I don't have any steel ingots. The boots, I may as well go ahead and just go ahead and craft these to fine. Might as well get a little bit of extra protection. Okay. And then, um, there's a barrel here. And uh, I don't want these boots. And I don't want... Where'd it go? What was the other thing I had? This ragged cap. I'm just going to dump those in there. Okay. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. What's that now? Say that again. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go up here and see if I can't find these crypts. Sounds interesting. Ooh. Okay, nope. I thought that maybe that might be an entrance right there. Ooh, steel from barrel. Ooh. Ooh. Tempting, but no. If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. Thanks. Okay, let me look at the map. I want to go here, down this little little walkway here, I think. Oh, and let's not forget to pick the flowers as we go. Stop and smell the roses and all that. Huh. Well, is this where I thought I was? No, I wanted to go here. I'm starting to think this map is not exactly 100% correct. Crypts. Oh, what's this Temple of Kynareth? Have I been in there? Wait a minute. Hall of the Dead? Oh, what the... Wow, okay. There's a lot more to this map than I realized, huh? The Enderforge over here. Hall of the Dead. Okay. I didn't realize it scrolled up before when I looked at it. Well, if I go over here, there's this temple I don't think I've been in yet. Let's go in here, see what's going on. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check. <laughs> Check. Yeah, you better stop talking, lady. God bless you, Hila. Hi. What's up, Acolyte Jensen? Need something? I don't know. Do you talk? Need something? Guess not. What about you, wounded soldier? He has nothing to say to me. The fever. My body burns. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong, sickly farmer? You look exactly like a solda. Okay, so she has nothing to say either. Who's this guy? Need something? I don't know, man. Oh, it's so, Danica. Have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Um, no. You're a priestess of Kynareth? Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped to make White Run a thriving and prosperous city. After all, so it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. Okay. So, uh, I don't remember whether I asked her this or not, but what's so special about the Gildergreen? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Oh. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Oh, okay. All right, bye. May Kinareth's winds blow you to fortune. Well, I mean, yeah, it's um, it's a place. Um, what's this? Activate Shrine of Kinnereth? Sure. All diseases cured, other blessings removed, oh, blessing nice of Kinnereth added. Okay. Let's see what that gives me. Fortify stamina. Okay. Increases your stamina by 25 points. Okay, so the Blessing of Kinnereth gives me that. I don't remember what the Blessing of that other tree gave me now. <clears throat> this this healing altar is owned. Ooh, this would be My stealing. Body burns. 
Well, um... So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? No, I haven't. Okay, gosh, get off my back. Here's some books, uh, which apparently won't, wouldn't be stealing. Don't worry, we'll get them at some point. Alright, well, I don't really know what this so, place is for. Back from those filthy uh, other than that blessing over there, so I guess, um... I guess we'll be on our way here. I can't bear it. Make it stop. I can't bear it. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your what wife. What does that mean? You look the type. Deserves. You mean you mean I look handsome? Is that what you mean? I think that's what she meant. Um. So. Um. Hmm. Apparently, there's some crypts around here. Seems like it's Dragon's Reach there. Can I walk up this way? Ooh, ooh, what's this? Hall of the Dead. I don't think I've been in here yet, have I? Are these the crypts? Hey, what's up, Anders? I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Yeah. Tell me, do you believe in mighty R.K., god of life and death? R.K.? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Tell me about him. Well, as I said, R.K. is the god of life and death. You'll find his temples and halls of the dead all across Tamriel. Priests of R.K., such as myself, perform rites for the dead, and sometimes console the bereaved. We also keep a constant vigil against those who practice the vile arts of necromancy. I asked the question because I was hoping you might be able to help me recover something I've lost. Oh, okay. What'd you lose, man? My amulet of R.K. Mm. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Mm. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Uh, you're on your own, priest. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Okay. Of RK be upon you. Thanks. Anything else to talk about? With this terrible war, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Oh. Are the catacombs? I'm sorry to hear that. So we got a new little quest here, a new miscellaneous quest, I think. Oh no, no, it's not a miscellaneous. This is the real deal. This one's called retrieval. No, it's not. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> uh, recover Anders amulet of RK. What's this? Ooh, activate Shrine of RK. All diseases cured, other blessings removed, blessing of RK added. What does this one do? This is neat. This one gives, it fortifies our health, increases your health by 25 points. Okay, cool. So by knowing where these are, we can decide which one we want before we go, we go adventuring. Is that the same guy? I guess it is. Hey, look, an embalming tool. I should take it. What's in here? Oh, look at this place. Ooh. Ooh. Steal from chest. Gold. <laughs> I'm not going to take his gold. Poor guy. He's only got nine gold and he keeps it in a chest. Bunch of books in here, man. Bunch of books. Just looking to see if any of these are like books that teach me something. These are books that I think I could read, but if I took them, would they be stealing? Well, I mean, I don't see any reason why we won't, wouldn't just go on in the catacombs. Uh, I'm going to go into my inventory here. Uh, I'm going to look at my weapons. I'm going to favorite my steel sword put it in slot one 
uh, because I think we're going to find ourselves facing some undead. And my steel sword is the way to go down here. That's just my thought. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, man, he is quick. That was easy. Boy, these guys didn't waste any time. A welcoming party. I don't want your ancient Nord great sword, even though it rhymes. <laughs> I guess they both have a great sword on them. That's pretty cool. So this is a this is a two-handed weapon. Okay, I'm holding it two-handed. Okay. See, it's just called a sword. How do I know if this sword is two-handed or one-handed? Right? How do I know that? Because it looks like I'm holding it two-handed. So I'm guessing this is a two-handed weapon, which is good because that's what I'm spec'd for. Let's look at the map. Okay. Uh, it's not looking that big. Quiet down here. Charcoal. Clutter. Go through that door in a moment. Any more uh, skeletons want to come out? And Face me in my special sword? Hmm? Sounds like it. No? Okay, I thought I heard something. I guess it's just the sound of looking at that. Ooh, unusual gem. I'll take that. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. All right. Don't tell me what to do. Well, there's not a whole lot going on down here, is there? Ooh. Open iron door. Oh yeah, let's open it. Oh, look at this place. It's pretty. I'm a scum. I'm going to take the coin purse. Somebody's offering. Uh, read Death Blow of Eber Nenet. Hey, you. I'm right behind you. Need you to do something. Yes, Thane. What is it? Need you to yes, my thing? pick this book up. I don't want you to read it. No, pick it up, whatever. Okay, got it. Oh. <laughs> pick it up. There you go. Boy, she sounded frustrated. Oh. Anything else? Not right now. So, um, coin purse here. That's all there is to this room? Just, um... It's a pretty little room here. A little shrine or something for me to come in and steal stuff from, I guess. Okay. Wait for these skeletons to all come up and attack me. You know they're gonna. Right, let's see what's going on down here. Okay. Take Anders' amulet of RK. Got it. Return the amulet to Anders. Okay. I can do that. Just making sure there's nothing else that I want in here. Okay. Gosh, is this really this easy? <clears throat> this is the whole place? Kind of looking like it. Okay. I ain't gonna complain. Let's get out of here. One of the easier missions I've done. All right, dude, I've got your amulet. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Mm -hmm. Look at those eyes. With this terrible war, I'm a bit overwhelmed, as are the catacombs. Mm, sorry, I found your amulet. Oh, thank Arkay. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Fifteen gold. <laughs> Fifteen gold? The blessing of Arkay be upon you. That's what you give me? You and me, 
We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. I know, right? As White Run's priest of Arche, I spread his word whenever I'm able. In the meantime, most of my hours are spent with the city's dearly departed. Need something? Mm -hmm. More than 15 gold. Yes? All right. Well, that's it. We get 15 freaking gold, man. 15 gold. <laughs> I'm insulted. I don't even know how much was in those coin purses when I picked them up. I didn't pay attention. Uh, okay, well, let us sit here and read a book. Oh, crap. Now that I've done this. Um, let me stand up again. I want to read that book we just picked up. So, Lydia. I've got your back. I'm going to trade with you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Mm -hmm. uh, so she has Death Blow of Abernanet. Ooh, this is a book that teaches me something. All right, fine. Whatever. Let's we're going to learn something. Then. No, we're not going to go anywhere. We're going to sit on this bench. And I'm going to read you a story. You ready? Death blow of Ebernanet. Block increased to 24. The death blow of Ebernanet with explanations by the sage Geocrates Varnus. That's how I decided to pronounce that. Broken battlements and wrecked walls where worship of the horror once embraced. The bites of 50 winters Frost and wind have cracked and pitted the unholy gates and brought down the cruel, obscene spire. All is dust, all is nothing more than dust. The blood has dried out and screams... Oh, it just says dried. <laughs> the blood has dried and screams have echoed out. Framed by hills in the wildest, forlorn place of Mora wind stands the barren bones of Ebernanet. When thrice-blessed Rangdil first saw Ebernanet, it burnished silver bright with power and permanence. A dreadful place with dreadful men to guard it, with fever-glassed eyes and strength through the horror. Rangadil saw the foe's number was far greater than the few ordinators and buoyant armagers he led. Watching from the hills above, the field and castle of death while it stood, it damned the souls of people, of the people of Morrowind, accursed, iniquitous, uh, iniquitous, Ini I don't know that word, iniquitous castle Ebernanet. The alarum was sounded, calling the holy warriors to battle, to answer villainy's shield with justice's spear, to steel themselves to fight at the front and be brave. Rangadel too grasped his shield and his thin ebon spear, and the clamor of battle began with a resounding crash to shake the clouds down from the sky. The shield wall was smashed and blood staunched. The, the ground of the field, a battle like no other, of Morrowind to destroy the evil of Ebernanet. The maniacal horde were skilled at arms for certes. But the three holy fists of Mother, Lord, and Wizard pushed. The monster's army back in charge after charge. Rangadil saw from above, urging the army to defend. Dogoth Thras himself in his pernicious tower spire. And knew that only when the heart of evil was caught would the land e'er be truly saved. He pledged then by the temple and the holy tribunal of Morrowind to take the tower of Abernanet. In a violent push, the tower base was pierced, but all efforts to fell the spire came to naught. As if all the strength of the horror held that one tower, the stairwell up was steep and so tight that two warriors could not ascend it side by side. So single file the army clambered up and up, to take the tower room and end the reign of one of the cruelest petty tyrants of the annals of Morrowind, Dogoth Thras of Abernanet. They awaited a victory cry from the first to scale the tower, but silence only returned, and then the blood 
first only a rivulet and then a scarlet course poured down the steep stairwell with a cry from above, Dagoth Thras is besting our army one by one. Rangadil called his army back, every ordinator and buoyant armager, and he himself ascended the stairs, passing the bloody remains of the best warriors of Morrowind to the tower room of Ebernanet. Like a raven of death on its airy was Dagoth Thras. Holding bloody shield and bloody blade at the tower room door, every thrust of Rangadil's spear was blocked with ease. Every slash of Rangadil's blade was deflected away. Every blow of Rangadil's mace was met by the shield. Every quick arrow shot could find no purchase. For the monster's greatest power was in his dread blessing, that no weapon from no warrior found in all of Morrowind could pass the shield of Ebernanet. And of course, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right or not, so forgive me if you know how it's pronounced and I'm pronouncing it wrong. An hour passed, as hour passed hour, Rangadil came to understand how his greatest warriors met their end with Dogoth Thras, for he could exhaust them by blocking their attacks, and then thus weakened they were simply cut down. The villain was patient and skilled with the shield, and Rangadil felt even his own mighty arms growing numb. While Dagoth Thras anticipated and blocked each cut, and Rangadil feared that without the blessing of the Divine Three of Morrowind, he'd die in the Tower of Abernanet. But he still poured down blows as he yelled, Foe, I am Rangadil, a prince of the true temple, and I've fought in many a battle, and many a warrior has tried to stop my blade and has failed. Very few can anticipate which blow I'm planning, and fewer knowing that know how to arrest the design or have the strength to absorb all of my strikes. There is no greater master of shield blocking in all of Morrowind than here in the castle of Abernanet. My foe, Dark Lord Dagoth Thras, before you slay me, I beg you tell me how you know how to block. Wickedly proud, Dagoth Thras heard Rangadil's plea, and decided that before he gutted the temple champion, he would deign to give him some knowledge for the afterlife. How his instinct and reflexes worked, and as he started to explain, he realized that he did not know how he did it, and watched puzzled as Rangadil delivered what the Tales of Morrowind called the Death Blow of Abernanet. Geocrates Varnus explains, 1. The horror refers to the Daedra Prince, Merun's Dagon. 2. Fifty Winters suggests that the epic was written 50 years after the Siege of Ebernanet, which took place in Third Era 150. 3. Thrice blessed Rangadil is Rangadil Ketil, born Second Era 803, died Third Era 195. Boy, that sounds like a lot of years, doesn't it? He was the commander of the Temple Ordinators, and thrice blessed by being blessed by the Tribunal of Gods. 4. Mother, Lord, and Wizard refers to the Tribunal of Alamex Almalexia, Vivek, and Sothasil. 5. Dagoth Thras was a powerful Daedra worshipper of unknown origin who declared himself the heir of the Sixth House, though there is little evidence he descended from the vanished family. Well, there you go. <laughs> I found that one a little hard to read. I couldn't quite pick up the verse or the rhyme or whatever was going on there. But um, overall, it turned out to be okay. And the whole deal was to learn how to block. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you leave me a like or a comment? Thanks for watching. See you next time.